to all my amigas and pals. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a full face of nude sticks. I absolutely love this brand. They're cruelty free, vegan, paraben free, all that good stuff. And they're just the easiest applicators ever. Uh, it's really foolproof makeup for anybody, even if you're not makeup savvy. And I love this brand because really their mission statement is enhancing the beautiful features that you already have. So majority of their stuff is not really heavy coverage, just enhancing your features. So with that said, I'm gonna go right ahead into it, but uh, I'm gonna start off with the Dior Backstage Little Tiny Mini <laughs> uh, Primer. So Nude Sticks has two different options as far as foundation and coverage. The first one is this Nude Sticks uh, Tinted Cover. And now this is a tint that evens out skin tone, builds coverage, moisturizes, and treats to protect skin. Now my favorite is the Nude Sticks Nudies Tinted Blur Stick. Uh, this one is extremely more natural uh, for me. And what it is is a innovative, soft focus mineral technology that creates flawless looking skin by smoothing and blurring the appearance of texture, blemishes, discoloration, lines, and pores. So when I went to Italy last summer, this was all I used. I really wanted to just have like a no makeup look, enhance my natural features. I had a tan going on. So this is great. It really, uh, essentially blurred like what it says a blur stick it blurred out a lot of the imperfections of my skin so I have these in like <laughs> four different colors because my skin is just always changing as far as uh, fake tans real tans whatever so I'm gonna go ahead and use these as my foundation um, I don't really know what color I am and that's kind of why I have one of each because it always changes, but this is the light two, and sometimes I mix it up with the light four, or I think it's like a medium four. And I kind of just mix these two colors together, and it'll pretty much make the perfect color for my skin tone that day. Now, if you could see, all the applicators are really easy, and even though it looks like there's almost none left, they all at the bottom have a little kind of twisty thing, so they come up. So before I blend, the other thing I love is that every time you purchase them, they come in their own little box, and it comes with a mirror inside the box. So this is great for traveling purposes and stuff like that. You can hold a bunch of other stuff, or sometimes I use them to hold tiny little jewelry and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead with the Nude Sticks Buff and Blend brush and I'm just going to go ahead and blend out this tinted blur stick. So as you can see it's extremely light coverage but for those of you that are blessed with some great skin and you just want to kind of blur out any imperfections or you're having a good skin day maybe you've got a nice tan and you can't really see anything you just want a little bit of blurring out of pores and stuff this is a great foundation i'm gonna go ahead with the nude sticks uh concealer crayon i actually have never used this i have a zillion other nude sticks products so this is the first time i'm actually using this i don't know if it's the right color and i don't know how it is so we're gonna find out I have heard really good things about this concealer though, at least from some of the other kind of reviews I've seen. Um, so I was excited to try it. I actually got it off of BoxyCharm. Uh, they were, usually have like a sale whenever they're trying to get rid of a lot of their products that maybe they didn't put in boxes. And I was able to get this for $5 and I think it retails for 26 maybe 30 so with the same nude sticks blend and buff brush I'm gonna use the other side for a concealer and blend this out okay so I think the color is actually pretty good it's a little bit warmer than what I would usually pick for a concealer 
uh, and for my general kind of undertone, but I kind of like it. So now the great thing about Nude Sticks is that a majority of their products are multi-use. So let's say I have, you know, a bunch of different colors in these tinted blur sticks. You could essentially have a color that's your skin tone and then get one that's two, three, four shades darker and you can use it to contour. Um, but what I have is a nudies all over color. Uh, so like I said, you could use this all over your face, doesn't matter where. I have this in the color Bondi Babe. So it's essentially like one of their contouring kind of colors and I'm just gonna go ahead and contour using this. Um, but like I said, you could use the tinted blur sticks or you could use these all over colors and you could use these all over colors as eyeshadow, whatever you please. So the great thing about these as well is that they all come on the bottom with these little brushes. I personally don't like to use the brush, but I just think it's so amazing. You could twist them off and then they're easy to sort of clean or in, as far as storage, like wherever you want to have the little nude sticks, if you want to make them more compact. Um, but I just love the versatility and like the, the overall use that you can get out of all of these products and their containers. So next for blush, I have a couple of different options that I own just because I love all the colors, but my ride or die, I use it in almost every makeup tutorial, is the Nudies Matte Color in Sunkiss. It's just like the perfect sun tanned, bronzy kind of a blush color. Uh, I could go ahead and show you all the other ones. This one is Sunset Strip. Whoa. <laughs> so yeah, I tend to lean towards kind of like the same color scheme as far as blushes, like nudes uh, and stuff like that. So you can go ahead, like all products, and apply it directly onto your skin. But with this one, I like to just get my little damn beauty blender and just go ahead with the color and apply it myself. They're literally that easy to apply, so not only do I love the versatility and user friendliness of all these products, but the pigments and the colors and really the long wear and longevity of the products are freaking amazing. So because my whole face is cream products, I am going to just set it a little bit with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, just because I don't want the concealer to crease up on me. And then I'm just going to go ahead and brush out my brows with my Milk Kush Fiber Brow Gel. So next up for eyes, I'm going to be using just some of the luminous magnetic eye colors that I have. New Six has a huge range of colors. Uh, I tend to grasp towards the shinier ones, but they have matte colors. The amazing thing about these is that they are all day, 24 hour wear, and they're waterproof. Uh, that being said, when you go to use them, you kind of have to work quickly because they will set on your eyes. So you want to make sure to, yeah, work kind of quickly. If not, they'll be setting on your eyes. Um, but yeah, like I said, when I was in Italy, dude, just jumping in the water, like that eye color just stayed there the whole time. So I think I'm gonna go ahead with the color Bright Eyes, and this was from the Hilary Duff Daydreamer collection. And I'm gonna just go ahead and apply it right on top of my lid. So now you could use a eyeshadow brush if you'd like, but I think that because they are such a magnetic and kind of cream product, it's best to use your hands. That way you can warm it up if you would like to move it in any kind of direction, really. Okay. 
The other great little incentive in buying these is that they all come with their own little sharpeners. So if you thought that maybe that was gonna be an issue, don't worry because they've got you covered. Next, I'm gonna go ahead with the color Burnish, I think it is, and just kind of deepen out my little corners. And then last with the color prism, I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight the inner corners of my eyes. So as you can see, I use three different colors as far as the magnetic eye colors, but really, if you find that one perfect color that's just for you, you really only need one of these bad boys because not only are they waterproof, but they're long wear, 24 hours, and it creates this beautiful editorial look with just one color, so I, Swear by these, love them so much. Next, I'm gonna go ahead with the Nudies Glow. So they have a couple of different highlighting options. I have this one from the Hilary Duff Daydreamer collection, but if you can see, it's like this uh, really beautiful lavender kind of highlight. Um, so I'm gonna just go ahead with my finger and add that to highlight. So I absolutely love these glows and highlights. Um, they are a little bit tacky, so it kind of makes me worried that it'll move uh, my foundation and the product underneath. But with that being said, you kind of want to just dab on with your fingers. But like they are so, not even shimmery, it's just kind of like this dewy glass-like skin look and I absolutely love it. So for lips, I'm just gonna go ahead and prime them with a little bit of lip balm but then i'm going to go ahead with the nudies matte uh, blush color so this can be used on your cheeks but i can also use them on my lips and i'm just going to get a little bit just to give a little blush of color and then to top it off i'm going to go ahead with the nude sticks gel color in the color secret keeper uh, this is more of like a topper kind of a gloss so you can also use this on your cheeks but I like it more matte finish than dewy this is great for the lips I think it's such a natural little just blush of color so before my camera died on me I was just finishing off with some milk makeup Kush mascara but that is it for my nude sticks full face video I'm gonna be honest with you as many nude sticks products as I have I have never done a full face of all the products on myself. I kind of just use them separately in different looks uh, for my own. And I actually really like the way that everything came out. I think it's super natural, glowy. Um, I don't know. I just, I really, really like the way that this came out using everything all together. But if you're going to leave this video having learned anything or taking any of suggestions that I have, I really love the Nudies matte color uh, for blushes. The sun kiss color is mwah, ride or die. The Nude Sticks Tinted Blur Stick, if you are one of those people that kind of just wants to try uh, something very natural, enhancing the features that you already have, but you want a little bit of like blurring and sheer coverage, that's a great one. And the Nude Sticks Magnetic Eye Colors, just try like one of the colors. As you can see, it was so easy to apply and just alone the fact that they are 24 hour wear and waterproof would be enough of an incentive for me to at least try them out and i'm telling you they're really really awesome so that's it for my full face of nude sticks i hope you guys enjoyed my video and i'll see you next time